and adapt to his system. Who have you liked? Well, Fred, number one. Um, you know, he's he's come under a lot of criticism as well as a lot of the, a lot of the players have, and that always happens when things aren't going particularly well, especially with the bigger players. But look. The three systems that Eric Ten Hag prefers, and in his whole three system, one important player that's constant in those three systems is the holding midfield player. Now, Christian Eriksen's been signed. Frankie de Jong is, looks as though he's going to come as well. So it's going to depend a lot as well on what Eric Ten Hag wants in the specific type of game. From a defensive perspective, we saw the other night, we saw the good bets. The one thing that they've got to be very careful of, because in Eric Ten Hag's system, that both full fullbacks are very important to the way that they attack. Sometimes they go as the double pivot, sometimes they go even further forward. Whoever's holding is going to be very important. Now, you saw the other night when Economides drew out Lindelof um, out to the side that there wasn't a, too much cover in the centre, and that's where someone like Fred is going to be so, so important. His quality, you saw just then the chip goal against Liverpool, was fantastic. And right now, in terms of the holding midfielder, I would say that he's favourite to start come their opening game this season against Brighton Hove Albion. Looking a little further forward, Carl Baird, uh, the area that suits your wheelhouse, being a former striker, sometimes midfielder, sometimes striker, looking at this Manchester United side and the players that seem to be playing with a lot of freedom out there, you've got Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford as well that have impressed the fans everywhere they've gone so far. Yeah, most definitely, and I think that's the, the influence of the Dutch coach. They are very attacking coaches, so um, I think those players will... Um, it's a brush of fresh air for, for them. Exactly. What have you liked about what they've done when they've been well, at Gaza? The, 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 the three out front that started in the first game I, I thought were, were exceptional in what they did in terms, of, first and foremost, of, of the way that they made runs to make space for other people. Their closing down as well, uh, when they weren't in possession, was very, very good. They got the ball back for them very, very quickly. And this young man here as well, Marcus Rashford, is, is another one um, that obviously has come, and, come in for a bit of criticism. And he's got a big season ahead of him. I really do believe um, that, that he could not perhaps lead the line on his own, but with the right combination around him would make a real difference. But it, it's up to him. Uh, it's up to all those players. And it's quite apparent that Eric Ten Hag is basically saying, look, listen, yeah. you know, I've got two players pretty much for every position. Go at it. Show me who deserves to be in that starting 11. And, uh, and, and that's what's looking really good and really refreshing for everyone. And obviously there's Cristiano Ronaldo to come back in as well. I love all the rumours floating around about Cristiano Ronaldo. Where is he going to go? Does he want to go? And the money that's been thrown around as well. Yeah, look, he will stay. He will stay. And you heard the manager say the other day that basically he's not for sale and he's part of his plans. And, and the way that he, like I said, the way, that, in my opinion, the way he performed last season, um, you know, proved that he should stay. And for the most part, these fans love Cristiano Ronaldo, without a doubt. Their best player last season on the Isuzu Ute <laughs> fan cam. Great to see them in their thousands flooding into the iconic MCG. And we've got quite a ring of fans around us as well, waiting to get, grab a couple of autographs. Talking about Crystal Palace, Calvert, and who has impressed these youngsters? The youngsters in the midfield against Liverpool. Jezreon Raksaki, I mean, he's 18 years old. What a player. Yes, he is. He's an exciting young talent. He had a couple of appearances last year but um, you know this is a, an important step for him um, tonight um, there's an opportunity there for him and if he, he does well in pre-season he could start the first game of the season mm. it was pretty refreshing wasn't it that even though there's you speak about the defense and having the old heads in the squad but the midfield itself looked really fresh pretty green and they looked like they were having the time of their lives against Liverpool yeah most definitely and young players uh, you know I'm a, I'm a big advocate for young players because they they surprise you and especially when you give them confidence um, and I, I think you, you'll see that um, tonight with these young players at Crystal Palace well, we are off to a short break as we inch closer to kick off here live from the MCG between Manchester United and Crystal Palace. But as we head there from this stunning city of Melbourne, Michael Zapponi sat down with keeper David De Gea and asked him about one of his soon-to-be teammates and another old one. 